We are counting down to Thanksgiving, just nine days away from all that food. Robin is kicking off our Hack Your Holiday Series Thanksgiving edition at Virgil's Real Barbecue, our neighbor here in Times Square. There she is. We've got some southern staples to top off your Thanksgiving table. Hey, Robin. I know. It's just, I just wanted to jump in. It's the real deal here. You know, just a couple of doors down. When folks come to see us at GMA, they often just come down here to Virgil's Barbecue. And I got to say, it is great to be back inside with the one and only Glenn Rolnick. He Thank is the you, director Rob. of culinary operations. Thank you. Yes, yes. What a title. <laughs> it is a title. So how are things going, Glenn? Uh, Robin, we're doing okay. You know, we're trying to hang in. We're trying to, you know, serve our food. We're trying to keep people busy. Virgil's, the name is there. The reputation's there. And we're just trying to keep it alive until... It gets busy again. Yeah, bless your hearts. And yeah, thank you thank for you. today. I know because, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up. Yeah, sure I'm a is. southern girl. Yep. You know, I love my I southern dishes. <laughs> but gravy, gravy is something that will be on the on the Thanksgiving take, table. What's, what's the deal with gravy? Gravy is the finishing touch to your Thanksgiving dinner. It basically brings everything together. People like to put gravy on their turkey or chicken fried steak mm -hmm. like we have. But where is it with the stuffing and the mashed potatoes? Darn, you want to <laughs> add that gravy to everything, well, right? Well, tell me the secret to this gravy. What well, we the secret to this, this is a white gravy. So it's a country, southern country gravy. Okay. Um, we use chicken stock. We use cream. We use sausage. So I'll give you a little, you know, so, let's do it. Okay, you so have I everything. I have everything. Okay. So we'll start with the oil. Okay. We have the pan preheated, so just be careful. Woo. Get your sausage in. Got it, got All it. Right. Get your onions in. Onions in. All right. Use your tongs. Stir it up a little bit. Let it cook for a couple of minutes. Oh, she's All hot. Right. She's hot. Come yeah, in hot. Yeah, no, Come in hot, Lower Come it down, in down a little, but it's nice. You want to smoke this stuff. Mm. Then what? What do we do next? Okay, next we add the herbs in. Got it, got it. All right, so we have seasoning and herbs. Let's mix okay. that in a little bit. Okay. All right, then the big secret to make the sauce thick is to get in a roux. All right, so See, a roux. That's, that's my problem. I can never make it thick enough. All right, so let's get with the butter. Okay. Put the butter in first. All right. So that's your part of the roux. All right. Let the butter melt. It only takes about a minute. Stir it around. It'll melt quicker. Okay. Come on, you know how to do those times. I know you do. I know you do. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. As soon as the butter melts, add your flour in. As soon as it melts? Yep. It okay. doesn't have to be fully melted. Just add in. your flour in. Okay. All right. Stir it up. Stir it up. All right. I can stir, I can stir it up. You can, I can stir, stir it up. It up. I can stir <laughs> Good to know. Up. Good to know. All right. So the trick here is the color of the gravy. If you want the gravy to be white, you only cook it for like three or four minutes. Okay. If you want a really brown gravy, uh -huh. you're going to cook it for like eight minutes so that the roux turns oh. brown. That's the trick of getting it nice and nice and okay. colorful okay. and the right color. All so right. let's mix it in. We cook it out for just a minute so the flour cooks out. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add your liquids in. So you're going to add your cream in. Add your cream. All right. And then we have chicken stock. Chicken stock. All right. Cheers to chicken stock. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, one but more I didn't know that stuff. about the coloring. It's a, how long you cook it. Okay. Absolutely. And, and the other thing is to make sure you're cooking it out. So let's switch to a whip. Oh. All right, you can put that on the side. Let's move it over to a whip. Whip it real good. Whip dun, it good. Dun, whip dun, it good. Dun, dun, and dun, you're going to see it's going to start thickening as you cook. Yeah. All right. And we don't want it too thin. We don't want it too thick. So we put in the right amount of flour, which is almost equal to the butter. Okay. All right. But then if it comes out where it's getting too thick, we want to thin it, just add a little more cream or a little more stock. I like you that. may have to adjust the seasoning. But then if it's too thin, the big trick, reduce it down a little more and it oh. thickens as it reduces. But then there's something we have is another trick. A little cornstarch, a little cold water. Just mix it together, make like a little paste. Put it in, bring it up to a boil, and it thickens the sauce almost instantaneously. I love these hacks. Okay, so we got the gravy going. Okay, right, so the gravy is going. We're just going to let it boil. All right, we'll let it boil. Yep. Now the chicken uh, fries. Chicken because fried not everybody steak. wants turkey for Thanksgiving. Yes, okay. but not always. Okay, not so, always. It's a little chicken Especially fried. now, when you have only this two or three specialty. people, mm -hmm. this is a, a one of our specials, and that's what we're showing today. Okay. So chicken fried steak, you can use many pieces of steak. All right, we use brisket here. All right, sometimes I use ribeye. So the trick is to make sure it's pounded really, really flat. Right. So it's cut on the bias, it's pounded really flat. All right. But That's your trick tenderized. is. Okay, but your trick is the breading. My trick is the breading. It's the three C's. What are All they? All right, it's crackers, chips, and cornflakes. Potato chips give it so much flavor, cornflakes, so we dip it quick in the flour. Okay. All right, make sure you shake it out, shake it out, make sure you cover everything. Mm -hmm. All right. Take your tongs again since we're not using it anymore. Right, right. All right, coat it with the egg, coat it with the flour, pick it up, 
right into the crumbs. All right, the and easiest again, way. And give, and give the three C's again. Uh, chips, crackers, and cornflakes. Wow. All right, precedent, precedent. You want a lot on there. Press that baby in. I'm sorry, I'm just loving my gravy right now. You, I can't believe how it's already getting so I know, you see okay. how it thickens up so okay. quick? All right, and, and then it, about it how long do you cook it? This, or the steak? What is the steak. It? The steak only takes like two, three minutes on each side, a little bit of oil in the pan. Okay. The gravy only takes about five minutes to make. Can you see, my Five God, minutes. I, if you I look at that, it's all thick already, mm -hmm. and the flavor's in. You don't have to do anything to it. All it's right. ready to serve. Okay. And so let's, because uh, we, because Michael said to make a plate, so we sent a plate over oh, to course, everybody. Michael said he couldn't walk over here. He had to ask for a plate. So we take the gravy. Yep. And just dab it I'm on. I'm going to do the same thing on my side. Yep. Okay. Great. All right. We'll you guys put the are gravy happy. Down yeah. here. You're we'll getting the thumbs the up from Michael. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Michael. Okay. Appreciate it. And oh, can yeah. I ask you with the sides? You have <laughs> little tricks loving. to kind of cook thing, kick things up to yeah. you on the sides. Okay. So roasted garlic, mm. mashed potatoes, plain mashed potatoes, nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. Add roasted garlic. Mix it in while you're mixing it up. It gives so much flavor and texture to the potatoes. It's great. Hey, Robin, pecans. you brought out the Love southern Love putting pecans in stuffing. I like sausage. I like pecans in the stuffing. <laughs> Add a little raisins into it. Gives it texture, okay. flavor, a little sweetness. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. What were you saying, George? You brought out the southerner in Amy. Mm. Robin, I could drink this gravy. <laughs> it, 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 I can drink it. It wasn't hard to do. Oh, but I, you know what? I am so proud of my gravy. My gravy never <laughs> looks like that. That looks so that, good. I am I so darn good. good. On the money. I am. But hey, Glenn, yeah. in all sincerity, thank you. You've always Robin, been a wonderful anytime. neighbor. And we are pulling for you and all the businesses during this difficult time. And thank you for these great hacks. Thank you for being there for us, Robin. I have one more quick uh -huh. thing for you. I have some fried onions. Put them on top of the greens. Really good. You can eat them too. I'm about to say a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely eat them. But let's oh. put them on top of this. Mm. Again, another added trick that you can thank put you, on Glenn. that just gives it texture, flavor, and you got it. It's Virgil's barbecue, and I help. And we <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Rob. Thank you. I want to thank all Come our friends at Virgil's and Times Square these recipes. Go ahead. Mm. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. We're good. We're good. They're eating. You can hear the smacking going on over there. He's on our website, goodmorningerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.